Hello, millions of YouTube subscribers. This is a tale of woe. And it just shows you that even we YouTube influencers who make millions and can retire, based on all your subscriptions and all the monetization that I receive, that even we, the elite, can be subject to thuggery, people who are evil, thieves, thugs, you know, etc., etc. So we feel the common people's pain. So a couple of weeks ago, when my rolls was in the shop, I decided to uh, go to work using my little old truck, go to the park and ride. And um, when I came back from work, you know, just to sort of, you know, hobnob with the unwashed, my truck was stolen. The police got it back within 24 hours or less, so go blue. That was awesome. Um, but then the morons who took the truck um, really did a number on it, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So when you look at this poor truck, you'll notice that these idiots basically destroyed this whole place where the key goes in. So not only is the tumbler gone, and etc., but they've completely destroyed the interior. This unit here, in order to get this replaced, would cost an arm and a leg, and I think it's well past my personal um, pay range. I don't think I could do this with great ease and replace all this. So I wanted to come up with an alternative just to, just to bypass my key completely. Uh, so I decided to try to do a um, push start. Now, there's really good ones out there that talk about having a little uh, electronic monitor that allows you to pass something through, and then your key, you're the only one who can actually push the button and start the car. That's all fine. But instead, they're about $50 or so, and they look pretty neat. Instead, though, I found this lovely thing. Now, it really goes well with the decor of the car, of course. You can, you can see that there's nothing but... This is a complete racing interior. It's amazing how, how this is just such a cool car. Although, there is over there uh, an ejection button, ejection uh, uh, toggle for my lights. So, I, you know, I guess it kind of fits. But what I did was, for $18 on Amazon, I bought this thing. And it's just kind of silly and fun. I know nothing about switches. I don't know what I'm doing. And I thought, why not try to put it in for fun? Um, just more or less to learn how things work. What it has in general are these, uh, this like nuclear option switch that you turn on and that turns on the whole unit. And then you've got these three buttons or toggles that are for accessories. Accessory one, two and accessory two is also on the end. This must not be from this country. Um, and then once you turn all those things on to turn on things like your, your fuel pump, etc. You then have the all-important push start, momentary push start button. And that, of course, is taking the place of the third or the last position on your key. That would be a momentary turn and you'd let go and, you're, and you'd start. And that's going to connect to your uh, starter. Okay? So that's what I decided to do. Just kind of more for fun than anything else. Uh, when one looks at one of these and you find a whole bunch of videos online about how they're put together and how to wire them, usually they're extremely poorly done. Um, there are a few very good ones, though. And two in particular. One explained what all the little boxes behind here are for and how the wiring goes together, and I'll try to explain that now. Did a really good job with an ohm meter to explain everything. And uh, another one explained how on earth you then figure out where all these wires go, what they're going to connect to in the truck or in the car. And so, for example, I found out that this thing here is my ignition switch. And in order to um, wire this thing together, all those wires up there go somewhere. And I don't know where they go. I don't know what they're for. But they're all going to be involved in accessories. There's going to be something involved in the 12-volt total battery supply. You've got to figure that out. And so I'll try to explain how to do that, and it was one video that explained really well, and I'll try to do my best to sort of recapitulate that information. Um, but for starters, let's take a look at this unit. Let's explain how it works and what it's for. Okay. Again, this is going to go somewhere in the truck. I don't know where exactly. But these are all just plain old boring switches 
There's nothing spectacular about them. The important stuff's in the back and how to wire it. This unit didn't come with any kind of um, instructions on how to wire, and I don't know how to wire. So it was pretty exciting to try to figure that out on my own, but I had help of YouTube, etc. And then when you look at it, it really actually makes a lot of sense. Mine came with loose switches. It came in a little cardboard box. This switch, which is the important one, was off and rolling around in the box. On the back, this is the important switch, this big one here. This little guy. This one is the one that's the actual push-button switch, and I'll show you how that works. But that was off. Um, so it wasn't exactly what I'd call quality, although the unit itself feels like it's quality. This is metal with fake stuff on the front, but it's metal, and all the switches seem pretty dang substantial. This is a plastic housing around the switch, but the inners are metal. Um, but let's look back here and see how it works, because this can be very, very confusing. At least it was to me until I looked at it and started to figure out exactly what goes where and what is what, okay? So in general, this switch here is the, is the switch that sort of turns the whole panel on. That's the one when you flip this switch up to the on position, that basically will connect these wires and the electrons that come from your battery all the way up to here. So you have to find this wire here that goes to this part has to be the um, wire that comes from your 12 volt battery powers this switch here when you flip this the electrons go from here up to here up to this pole right here now what do you want to do with that with those electrons is the important thing and this looks like a rat's nest but it truly isn't it actually all makes sense if you uh it all makes sense if you actually think about it and understand a little bit what's happening. So, once electricity comes from the battery and comes in this pole, and then you flip this switch to the on position, now the electrons travel from here to here. Now, wherever those electrons are connected with a wire, that's where they're going to go to. So, what you want to do is power these switches. So, you have a connection, a wire, that goes from this guy around like this and attaches to this little pole right here. That pole really doesn't do anything except power a light that's going to be in the push button switch. This push button part here will light up when it comes time. Okay, So that little guy is really just powering that light. Okay, But now the electrons have come down this wire and are here. You then have another wire this one right here that's connected those are both in the same little the same little connection right in there they're both in the same little piece so the electrons are going to travel up this wire and come along here and go up to this side this wire and this end is powering the switch the momentary switch okay and we'll talk about that in a second you still want electricity to go to the other little toggles so what do you do you then have a jumper wire that connects all the way around and goes to wherever else you want it. In this case, you want it to go to come around on this on this piece right here, right here, and it connects to this pole. And then this is ganged like this over to this pole, and this is ganged like this over to this pole. Now, in each case, what that is, this little pole is the off position of those to those three toggle switches. Flip this switch here to on, makes the connection from down here to up here. This little part now has electricity come into it because our switch is flipped up. Okay. Electrons, and they go off now to power whatever you want to power. Some of the green wires here are the ones that go to your power of whatever. This is going to go to your fuel pump. This is going to go to your lights. This is going to go to your dash lights. This is going to go to whatever. So all those switches are simple, and they work the same way. You flip these switches, come up to these positions. One, 
two, and three. And then go off to their respective places. Okay? Very simple. To turn the whole, oh yeah, and then this is the starter button, of course, that you're going to have the momentary switch. It's going to start. You push that. You get a, It's a spring. It starts like that. Now, how does that work? It's really kind of cool. If you look at the top of the switch, okay, so here is the switch where the push button switch. Here's the electrons are over on this pole, and you want to get them over to this pole so that they'll fly out this wire and go to your starter. Okay? But watch what happens right in here. When I push the starter button, get my hand and push it, and you'll see a little tab come up. See that little green tab in there come up? Disappeared, came up. So that is making a connection then, when you push that. When that little piece comes up here, it's making a connection between this pole and this pole. And then that wire goes out to your starter. Okay. So that's basically how the whole unit works. It's really quite simple, and it makes sense. Okay, to turn the whole thing off, okay, if it's on like this, to turn the whole thing off, all you do is go. The whole thing shuts down, and then you can turn off your toggles here. Okay, so it's really quite easy. There's only a couple of complications with this. One is that this pole right here, which is the one that's going to go off to power your starter. That's going to come off and power your starter because there it is. This switch is kind of delicate and it needs a relay. It's kind of like a fuse that you have. And so instead of this wire going directly to your um, starter, it goes up into this relay mechanism. And the relay, this little red wire that comes from that, goes up into the relay and comes out through the blue wire. And the blue wire is actually what goes and connects to your starter or to the plug that goes to your starter. This, when it's connected and the electrons going over here, this pole still goes to the starter. It just doesn't go direct. It goes up through a relay. Okay, So that's one complication. But it's not hard. It comes with the comes with the kit, the relay. Now, the other complication is the relay and these two little switches here. This one has a little light on the tip of it, and then this one lights up too. To be lit, lit up, those have to be grounded. And apparently, this little relay also has to be grounded. So it comes with a little black wire and my thumb. Okay. And so I brought that wire down and ganged them together so i've got one that's coming from my relay i got one that's coming from the starter switch and i got one that's coming in from the nuclear option switch that turns on the whole unit to a ground in which i put in a little um, connection that will go find a screw somewhere okay that's the whole unit it's really it's really kind of simple so again you want to turn it on flip that switch that gets electrons going from this pole to this pole they then follow to here and power the light essentially on the little push button switch you gang them from here to here which is the important one because that one goes and powers the uh, puts electrons onto the push button push, push button um, momentary switch. This wire then gangs them over, and then each is successively ganged together to power each of these three switches. And then when you're ready, you press start, momentary and let it go. So that's how this works. Um, at least in theory. And what we're going to do now is show you how we figure out now how on earth what wire goes to what in the um, actual um, ignition switch on the truck. Because that's all well and good that we now know that this wire needs to come in from the 12 volt battery. But how do you know where to connect this? Which one is the 12 volt constant supply? We know that this one 
the star to switch electrons has to come out this wire here and that wire has to go to the starter but which one of the wires does it fit into in the ignition switch so we're going to talk about that now